and welcome. My name is Ethan Hamlet Stroll, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Canvas app through Microsoft Power Apps that allows you to generate a document through Documents Core Pack. This video serves as a bit of a visual guide that we have on our website. So if you want to link to the specific article that this video is based on, or a link to our website, make sure to check out the video description down below. All right, with that said, let's get started. So here we are in Microsoft Power Apps. You can see here that we're already in uh, the editor to create an app. Before we get into it though, of course, it's important to understand what it is, exactly what we're doing, and why we want to even create an app like this. What we want to do today is we want to create a simple app that allows you to select a quote and generate a document based on that quote, and then allows you to view that generated document. Why do we want to create something like this? Well, because there are some circumstances where this might be handy. For example, if you're a salesman, it might be important to have this app on hand so that way you can uh, track a quote and then generate a document based on that quote and then see what that document looks like. There's other circumstances where this might be handy, of course, but that is the example that we're going to be taking a look at today. Right now, I already have a finished app that we can check out. Uh, this app, I'm just going to show you exactly what we're trying to go for here. And this app does pretty much what I've already explained that it will do. So we're going to go ahead and then just preview this app. You will see that we have two quotes here that we can select. We're going to go ahead and select the first quote. And then you'll see that we're brought to a, another screen that shows a bit of information on this quote. And below, we also have this section that allows you to generate a document based on the selected template. There's a few uh, templates that we can select here through the dropdown. We're going to go ahead and make sure we just stick with quote sample. We're going to click generate. And you will see that there's a bit of feedback that pops up, a little bit of a loading symbol and then text that says doc, uh, document generating. And then once the document is finished, it says that the document has been generated. And then we can go ahead and then click on this to view our quote. And then here it is, our finished generated quote document, ready for our viewing. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. That's what we want to try to recreate. So to recreate this, I've already got a secondary tab at the ready. And we are going to be creating, or we're going to be starting our app creation basically from here. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to show all the beginning steps for this. What's important here is showing you how to set up this app to generate a document. We already have the general fields that you saw earlier, but we do not. We're missing the uh, information that allows us to actually generate a template or a document. Before we start adding in these controls, though, one important thing that I want to make sure I show you all is the data tab. If you go over to the left here, go and click on this cylinder, you'll see that we have three data sources here. Each of these data sources are important and vital in order to actually use the code that we will later be using in order to generate documents in this app. When creating this app, I created it based on the quotes table. Uh, so in this example, the quotes data source will already be here, but the other two data sources are data sources that you would need to add when creating an app with document generation capabilities. So that means you will need to make sure to add the documents core pack connector here, and you need to make sure that this MSCRM addons.com documents core pack templates entity is also here. If you do not have these added, then you will not be able to outfit your app with document generation capabilities. So please make sure that those are added before beginning or before proceeding on if you were following along. If you need information on how to actually get the documents core pack connector set up, there's resources that we have available on our website for that. Okay. So with that explained, now we'll start adding the controls that we need. So we're going to go ahead and slap down two text labels here. 
The upper one will just say templates. It'll it's just basically to have that little bit of information. Templates. Gonna go ahead and then shrink that. Like so. This one we're also going to shrink just a little bit. Gonna make sure it's big enough though. Put it somewhere down here. And then we're gonna remove the text altogether for right now. Okay, now we're going to add a button. This button will be used to actually kickstart the generation process. Thus, we're going to give the text generate. And, you know, let's move this up just a little bit. And then, of course, we need to also add in a drop down. This drop down will contain a list of all the templates that we want to add or that we want to be able to select. Okay, good. So those are the controls that we have added now. We have our two labels, the drop down, and then the button. But of course, we need to make sure we add the code to these buttons because otherwise, this is not going to do anything. So the first bit of code that we want to add is for the drop down. And to get that ready, we're going to make sure we give this a suiting name or suitable name, drop templates. And then we're going to add in some code. So I've already got the code that we need for this app offhand. If you are reading the article, you will see that we already have, uh, that this code is already in the article itself. So you can copy and paste that code from our article, or you can also check and pause this article, this, uh, pause this video, uh, to see what kind of code I'm trying to add here as well. So this bit of code is the first bit of code that we want to add. This is our get all templates uh, function. And this will basically, as it indicates, get all templates based on the entity name that we're passing in. It also makes sure that we have the PTM name and the sort order will make sure that these templates are sorted properly. So we're going to go ahead and then just copy and paste this. Uh, and note that this is for our drop down items. You'll see here that this is already selected items. And we want to make sure that we add this function right here. Uh, and then once we have that added, you will see that the drop down itself already has quote as the text. Uh, we don't want it to have say quote. We want it to so show the actual name of the template that we want. So with it selected, make sure you go back over to the uh, side over here and where it says drop down, drop templates, and select the value to be PTM name. Thus, that will actually display the name of the template that you want to select. So uh, that's the drop down. Next thing we want is we want to make sure we add the right code for our generate button. We're going to add it to the on select action. And we're going to go over to our note document and we're going to copy and paste this. Now, what does this code do? Uh, basically, it sets up a variable, generate a document, and then it will create a document job and then store this information into this variable. So you see that we have the DCP template ID, the selected quote, and then PDF, and then save to SharePoint. So this means it will get the ID of the template it will take the information from the selected quote and it will save it as a PDF and it will save it to SharePoint. So we're going to go ahead and copy and paste that right up here again on the on to select action. And yep, it looks like that pasted correctly. So now we have that. Okay. So now we have our bottom label here. Now this bottom label is important. This is going to display the link that we want to uh, get because when we generate this document, it's going to be saved to SharePoint. And now what we want is we want to get the SharePoint link displayed here. So we're going to go out and go down here. Uh, we're going to first add in the label text, which is the going to be the file name of the generated document. So we're going to go ahead and go here and then we're going to find the text property. Actually, let's also give this a good name, label 
link. Right, here's the text property. And we're going to paste that in there. There. Now, it doesn't display anything because it's uh, not going to work yet until the document is actually generated. So if you don't see any text right now, that is okay. That is expected behavior. The other thing what we also want to do is add this to the on select uh, action. So with the label selected, we're going to go ahead and go down to on select here, just here. And then we're going to paste it in up here as well. Now, we're also going to add a bit of uh, color to this because we want it to look like, you know, a, a clickable link. So we're going to go down to the color property here and we're going to copy this. And this will give it a bluish color once it's generated. And then, of course, we want to make sure it also has an underline. So we're going to go ahead and scroll right down to that underline. True. Okay. Good. All right. So that's the general control that we need to add. And if we were to actually run this right now, it would work as we want it to. But you saw that in the other one that we have some feedback control. And that's what we also want to add here too. So we're going to go ahead and add two more text labels. I'm going to add them right under the generate button. And then, like so, mm-hmm, and let's space them out just a little bit, just want to, make, want to make sure it doesn't get in the way of our link. And then we're going to add in three icons. First, we're actually going to add in a download icon uh, for our link here. And this will appear once the link is ready, letting the user know that you can download now. We also want to put in a reload icon, and this will be representing the time when the document is actually generating. Shrink that just a little bit. And then we're going to include a check mark down here. Now, of course, we need to add in, uh, we need to edit this text so that way it communicates the, to our uh, user what we're trying to go for here. So we're going to go up to the text property here. And we're going to have it say generating document. And then for this one, we're going to have it say doc, oops, document generated. Exclamation mark. Good. Okay, now there's one more thing that we need to add here, and that is uh, some logic to make sure that these only show in their relevant respective circumstances. So in this case, we're going to need to update our generate document button. Once again, we're going to consult my little handy notepad document here. And there's basically two sections to this that we need to add. And we're defining two variables here. We're going to be setting a load visible and done visible variable uh, above this. And then we're going to be activating or deactivating them when the document is generated. So we're going to go down here. So basically, the idea is that we're going to set load visible to true when the document is generating and we're going to set done visible to false when the document is generating so that way the label and the check mark are disappeared or have disappeared in this process then of course once the uh, the d document has been generated we're going to invert them so that way the correct labels are hidden or showing so with these two vis uh, variables set and the logic handled for that now, the last thing we need to do here is we need to make sure that these are all uh, given the right uh, variable. So we basically need to edit the visible property for each of them. Uh, so for this load icon, we want to make sure that this visible property is not set to true, but set to load visible. 
meaning it's only it's only visible when this variable is set to true. We want to do the exact same thing here for this one. So load visible. Oops. And then same thing for here, except for done visible. Oops. Same thing here. And same thing here. So right now a lot of these things are hiding, but don't worry, they will show up when we execute this app. And actually, I believe with all of these things set up, we should be ready to go and activate this. So let's give it a spin. We'll go over to browse screen right here and let's try it. So we'll click and preview the app and we will select one of our quotes. We'll select that one. Mm -hmm. You can see here the information is now different. You will see that of course our templates are being displayed correctly. We'll select the quote sample one because that's just personally one of my favorites. And then we're going to click on generate. And you see here, of course, our generating document label and icon are displaying correctly. And that's good. That's a good sign that uh, we've done everything right so far. And now it's just going to take its time. And you see here, document generated, our check mark, check mark, the upper icon and text is gone. And now our link and our download icon are also there. And so if we click on that, open it up, you'll see here that we have our generated document straight from SharePoint. And you can see, of course, that this is indeed the, the second, uh, the other quote that we're using, different information, meaning everything is working as intended. Okay. So with that said, it looks like everything's checked out and it looks like we're done here. So to anybody who's watching this video, we hope that you like this video. If you did like it, do consider subscribing to our channel, checking out our website or checking out this article in the video description down below and consider giving this video a like as well. We have other videos and resources on our website. So if you're interested in our product, please do consider checking those out. Thank you once again for watching this video. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.